this is your favorite drag queen, Miss Lulu Bella. <laughs> From north to south, I'm 100% American made, baby. That's fine. <laughs> okay, anyways, um, guess what, honey? We're still in the middle of 80s month on the YouTube Refugees, okay? So, uh, let's get this bitch started. <laughs> Many of you. Ladies and gentlemen may not be well aware of this, but um, Miss Lula Vetter appeared in one movie in the 80s. Uh, it was a small bit part, I didn't really get much credit for it, but uh, well, basically, <laughs> I was dancing for a very popular character from the 80s, okay? <laughs> so I'll show you the picture. <laughs> Now, honeys, I've lost considerable weight since then, but, you know, it was strange, you know, the makeup people, you know, on the set, they were like, you know what, Lulu, we don't really need to apply that much to you. So, I was like, alright, I mean, I, I mean, okay, you know, I mean, I was a little offensive, but they said they didn't need to put a lot of makeup on me, but, anyways, that was my feature film debut, you know, uh, well, you know, basically, I never got any callbacks after that, you know, I'm still trying to figure it out. But, I don't know. Okay, honey, this is what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna discuss Miss Lulavetta's favorite movies from the 80s, you know? Now, there's, uh, there's a few I'm sure most of you will recognize, and then there's like one or two that you, you'd probably be like, what the fuck is that? I never heard of that. <laughs> but, trust me, I assure you, they're from the 80s and they're real movies, I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay, well, here's the first one. It's called... He knows you're alone, okay? <laughs> now, the VHS box ain't, ain't doing so well, is it? But it's on VHS, you know? I haven't been able to find it on DVD. If you could find it on DVD, that would be a motherfucking score for Miss Lulu. You know, let me know. <laughs> but anyways, it's a good movie, okay? It stars Don Scardino and Caitlin O'Heaney. And guess who makes a small appearance in it? <laughs> Mr. Tom Hanks himself. I believe it's one of his first movies and stuff. And I believe... He was doing it while he was shooting both and buddies. <laughs> but, I mean, it's like, it's about a stalker, you know? And he's got, like, some marriage issues, you know? There's a lot of about, a whole thing about weddings and shit. But you need to watch it. If you haven't seen it, you know, if you want to borrow the VHS from Miss Lulu, just send me a message. I'll send it to you. You know, I have no issues about it. <laughs> so, okay, that's my first one. <laughs> it's a good one from 1980, motherfuckers. <laughs> okay. Okay, honey, the next movie I'm going to talk about is The Dark Crystal. <laughs> I love this motherfucking movie, seriously. Okay, honey, so The Dark Crystal is very well... Bit okay. Okay, you can stop playing the music. I don't know who the fuck's doing that, but seriously, stop it. Okay. Anyways, honey, so The Dark Crystal is a really good movie, okay? It's about, well, it's about these two, you know, they're girlfriends, they're called, okay? Uh, one's name is Jen, and the other one's name is Kira, you know? And Jen is the boy, and Kira's the girl. And they have to go on this journey to get this little crystal shard back into a big, giant crystal. So, like, you know, basically, you know, the light will come back into the land and stuff. Because these evil Skeksis, they're called, they're these bird-looking bitches. They cause all kinds of problems and shit, but... You know, basically, they gotta they gotta try to like save the day and save the world from the darkness of the of the evil Skeksis, you know. And these Skeksis are motherfuckers, really <laughs> trouble making little bitches. But I mean, you gotta check it out. It's good. It's got all kinds of crazy stuff in it, you know. It's all kinds of crazy characters and stuff. It was very to me. It's one of my favorite movies. It came out in 1982, and I loved it. Okay. So if you didn't see the Dark Crystal, I suggest you do so. I suggest you do it soon. <laughs> Cause I love it. <laughs> okay, honey, the next movie Lil Vet is gonna be talking about is The Kiss. <laughs> Look at that, that shit is scary, okay? <laughs> that shit is real scary. Okay, honey, so this is this movie is uh, called The Kiss and it's from 1988. And seriously, just the Prince Prince, seriously, that's all they got nothing to do with this damn movie. Uh, I don't know who's in charge of the music for this video, but they're fucking it all up. <laughs> but, alright, anyways, so this movie is about, well, there's these two sisters when they're younger, okay? One's name is Felice and the other one's name is Hillary, okay? So, um, the family says goodbye to Felice. She gets on a train, I think, with her aunt or something. And, um, 
everything, you know, she, I guess, you know, the, they tell Hillary that, you know, her sister's going away because she's sick, you know, but then the sister, you know, she gets attacked by the ant and this big old creature thing comes out of the ant's mouth and goes into him, into Felice and she gets all like, I don't know, at the end she was all possessed and shit, you know, so then years later she comes, you know, she calls her sister on the phone and meanwhile her sister now has a family, has a husband, has a child, a daughter named Amy. And, uh, well, basically, Felice wants to, you know, get in touch with her sister Hillary. So her sister Hillary goes to meet her, but her sister Hillary gets violently killed. Look how she gets run over, and that's a fucked up scene. You gotta check it out, man. <laughs> it's crazy, but... Anyway, so in swoops Felice to try to be the savior of the day, try to be all sweet, nice to the family, but what her real intentions are is to pass off that little demon monster thing living inside her to pass it off to Hillary's daughter, Amy. Okay. Oh, it's some fucked up shit. Honey, I suggest you check this out if you haven't. This is a good movie. I don't want to give it all away because, you know, if I give it all away, there would be no point in watching it. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, God. Anyways, check it out. Okay, honey, the next movie Miss Louvetta is going to talk about is Sleepaway Camp, honey. That's right. Sleepaway motherfucking camp. <laughs> Okay, honey, now this movie came out in 1983, okay, and of course it stars Miss Felisa Rose, which, you know, we all know we love her, okay, because she's awesome. Uh, it's got Jonathan Tearsden, Christopher Collette, there's a few stars in it, but it, this movie is, well, basically, well, Miss Little has got to be honest, okay, the acting, you know, ain't nobody in this motherfucking movie going to win an Academy Award, that's for sure. <laughs> I don't even think, personally... I don't even think the Raspberry Awards would award them anything. <laughs> you know? I'm sorry, but... I mean, it's it's a campy movie, really, is what it is. I mean, and no pun intended. I know it's a slip boy camp. <laughs> but that's not why I said that, okay? So, get off my motherfucking back. But. Anyways, it's got a shocking ending, okay? So, for the people who have seen this already and know the ending, okay? It's very near and dear to my heart. <laughs> so, I know all of you who've seen the movie know what I'm talking about. <laughs> But if you haven't seen the movie, I mean, just watch it for the motherfucking ending because the ending is crazy. It's motherfucking crazy, honey. Trust me when I tell you, it's crazy. It's a crazy ass ending. <laughs> I suggest you check it out. All right. Okay. Okay, honey. The next movie Miss Little Bad is going to talk about is Ooh, Night of the Demons. That came out in 1987. That bitch looks like the Exorcist chick, doesn't she? But her name's Angela. That's a scary looking bitch. Seriously. <laughs> okay, honeys. Now, again, this is what... Uh, you, just stop it, okay? Seriously, I don't... That's from The Exorcist. I don't need that music for this movie. Whoever's in charge of the music is a motherfucking idiot. Seriously. Anyways, honeys, this is... Well, you know, this is another one of those movies where the acting isn't exactly uh, Academy Award caliber. <laughs> Not at all, honey. But, uh, you know, it's still, it's a good, it's a good camping ride. You know, if you like horror and you like blood and guts and stuff. And there's a scene with the Linnea Quigley. Okay, that's her name. Excuse me, I'm getting all tongue tied with it. <laughs> well, anyways, Linnea Quigley, she takes a lipstick, okay. And she's all like, you know, because she's, at this point, she's possessed by one of the demons. You know, and she like takes the lipstick and she draws a circle around her teddy, right? And then she takes the lipstick and she shoves that whole entire lipstick right inside her teddy. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. If you didn't see this movie, you need to see that just for that scene. <laughs> just check it out. And then the ending is kind of, you know, I kind of like the ending too because it's like this old man who wants to hurt the children, he gets what he deserves. And I don't want to give that away either. You need to check it out if you haven't seen it, okay? <laughs> Night of the Demons, 1987. <laughs> oh, honey, this is the, this is one of Miss Louvetta's personal favorites. Ooh, Witch Boy. That's right, honey. Oh, trust me when I tell you, this is a good one. It's a motherfucking good one. <laughs> okay, honey, now this movie came out in 1986, and it stars Todd Allen, uh, Tony Katain, and Stephen Nichols. Now, Stephen Nichols is, um, some of you may know him as Patch on Days of Our Wives. <laughs> but, um, anyways... This is a, well, honey, this is a creepy motherfucking movie, is what it is, okay? So, basically, they you know, you know, Stephen Nichols, his character is, like, an expert about Ouija boards and stuff, so they're at a party, and they contact, supposedly, this little spirit named David, okay? Um, and the, the girl in the movie, she's all obsessed with wanting to talk to David all the time, and, you know, well, the other guy leaves his Ouija board at the house on accident, okay? So, uh, well, he probably shouldn't have done that, because 
it, that's when everything gets crazy. So the girl starts playing the Ouija board by herself, which everyone knows you shouldn't be playing the Ouija board by your motherfucking self, or otherwise you let a demon in. Uh huh. <laughs> Basically, this bitch, she does it. She don't listen, you know. And uh, well, from there it gets creepy. Okay, crazy shit starts happening, and ain't no little boy spirit. It's an old motherfucking Malfeda spirit, and he's scary. <laughs> So, if you haven't seen this one, I suggest it, because this is a really good, creepy-ass movie from, you know, from 1986. I mean, the ending is a little, I don't know, a little cheesy, but I still loved it anyway. <laughs> so, check it out, honey. It's called Witchboard, and it's from 1986. <laughs> and it's scary. Okay, honeys, that was Miss Little Brothers, uh, movie picks from the 80s, okay? And uh, if you haven't seen those movies, I suggest you find some time and, you know, I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to find every one of those movies, but if you can, I suggest you watch every single one of those movies. There's something special and unique about each one of them, so. Okay, before Miss Little Better goes, I just want to show you something else. <laughs> now, this was a very big part of Miss Little Better growing up, especially in the morning, okay? I, Miss Little Better used to eat Frank and Barry. She used to eat cow chocula, and she used to eat blueberry. <laughs> and I also ate their cereal. <laughs> uh, you know, that's just me being a little dirty, but, you know, you guys know the deal, so. Okay, honey, so that concludes this week's 80s video. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you, uh, you know, I hope you were mesmerized by my beauty. <laughs> Okay, uh, and listen, by the way, on a side note, um, our very own Miss Muska, she's going on summer vacation, so we're not going to see her again probably till September, okay? So in the meantime, if you or anybody else that you know might be interested in being a guest, you know, a guest refugee on a Tuesday, let us know, okay? It'd be like, you know, it's, it's almost like, you know, Miss Muska is like a... Like a year-round school teacher. And she's going on summer vacation. And now we need like some summer school teachers. But we'll call them summer school refugees. <laughs> so if anybody's interested in taking over the Tuesday spot for the summer. Let us know. Okay. Let Miss Lulavetta or anybody else on the refugee channel know. And we'll, we'll discuss it. We'll talk about putting you in on that spot for a little while. So. Okay. And I wish Muska well. And I hope she has a good summer. Okay. We love you Miss Muska. We'll see you in September. <laughs> See you in September. <laughs> Love you, Mooska.